There's been a spike in suburban crime and unsolved cases here in Perth and a shortage of detectives in the police force is being blamed, with 46 jobs currently sitting vacant in the metro area alone. Joining us now on the program, the Acting Police Commissioner, Gary Drybergs. Gary, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good morning, Tim. Thanks for having me. Can I just point you to a couple of the, uh, the stats in this month's crime figures that have just come through? Domestic violence numbers have spiked 38%, thefts up 17% compared to this time last year. Now, union commentary would suggest that there is a direct link between unsolved crimes or crime rates going up and a shortage of detectives currently. What do you make of that? Well, Tim, crime rates in uh, WA have been going up and WA Police has recognised this some months ago and we commenced Operation Sweep to deal with that. It's not related to detective numbers at all. It's, to, it's related to a number of complicated factors within the community that cause crime. So detectives have a role in uh, solving crimes as they're reported to us, but it's not related to detective numbers. All right, so can you just uh, describe in a bit more detail then for us, Gary, what do you think it is due to then the... Uh, the the upward uh, trend in these crime stats? Well, we've got an upward trend we're seeing in uh, domestic violence and volume crime, as you've stated. But these crimes are predominantly caused by issues in the community, such as uh, high drug use, uh, domestic violence, as you, as you stated, issues relative to mental health and just general issues within the community um, social fabric. So it's a very big challenge for us to deal with these issues, but I can tell you we're absolutely committed and I've been briefed extensively about the efforts that are being undertaken in the metropolitan area, including daily tax that are happening at the district level, investigators working um, with our local policing officers, our response teams res responding as soon as they can to crimes as they occur. So it's a very much a model that can, it's a, a team approach to dealing with crime as we, and in the districts as we speak. Gary, can I just ask you a little more on this uh, so-called detective shortage? Uh, the police minister says the government has given the force the funding to add an extra 550 officers, and that would include 200 d detectives uh, within the force by 2017. The opposition, though, says that more needs to happen now. What do you make of the comments there from either side? Well, I can tell you that more is happening now, Tim. We've got uh, 200 additional detectives are going to be recruited, but we've already commenced recruiting detectives, and a lot of the detectives have gone to new additional positions within specialist crime, major crime, to work on a meth action plan where we've seen outstandingly good results, and a lot of special um, detective projects that are under being undertaken on some very specific cases. So we have a very big effort in our specialised areas. Unfortunately, when we put um, vacancies and new officers into those specialised areas. Sometimes they will draw on the districts. Now we are working very hard and we'll be working very hard to fill the vacancies in the districts that are left by detectives moving to those newly created specialised positions to deal with the really big issues such as meth. All right, well, nevertheless, we have 46 currently vacant detective positions within the metro area alone of WA Police Force. Why is it proving so difficult to fill those positions? Well, it's difficult because we have um, to recruit and then train our detectives and that takes some time and when you're doing large numbers like we are at the moment to meet that 200, there can be a slight lag. But what I can tell you, if there's a critical or major incident in the districts, our system doesn't rely on one detector's office. Our system relies on state crime supporting the districts and the district's teams working together with our regional investigations unit to deal with the issue as it arises. So. Although we may have some vacancies in the districts, they are absolutely well supported. They're part of a bigger team, part of a bigger system that works to fight crime in our district. So although we have the vacancies there and we are working very hard to fill them, um, they, they exist for a, um, for a short period and we hope that we can resolve it quicker than quick as we can. Yeah, let's hope so. Acting Commissioner, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much.